Hello, this is Dr. Garrett Castleberry, Associate Professor and Program Director of Communication, Media, and Ethics at Mid America Christian University. I'm here with uh, an opportunity to uh, engage with and respond to our student questions for COM 2113 Media, Culture, and Social Influence. Uh, Media, Culture, and Social Influence is one of the courses that asks our, our students uh, or quests them, if we want to fra frame it that way, with devising questions that draw upon each of the three uh, books that we're working through in the class and in, um, in order to make additional use of those in an online accelerated context uh, in this course, we have students submit those questions and we, our goal is for instructors to be able to take from those questions and put together some, some engaged responses. Um, uh, this, this title, uh, or, or rather this practice, uh, goes by a couple of names. Uh, I might refer to it as an asynchronous dialogue. It's, it's very much happening. It's, it's an interaction between us, between instructor and student, um, and um, it's also raw materials that help us uh, form formulate some digital lecture material. And so appreciate uh, the opportunity to get to uh, see how students are taking in and processing the information, see if they're on the right track, what questions they raise. And that's, that's a healthy practice. I think that's important for us to recognize collectively and individually is um, is we're we're interested in introducing multiple um, uh, perspectives on a given topic to you and what we gain through exposure to a diversity of voices is the opportunity to see where there is there is crossover between uh, what what these with these scholars what these authors have to say um, but also we might identify points of distinction where they might disagree with one another and certainly where we might have uh, questions of our own that is absolutely healthy to uh, to an educational journey all right and so we want we use an exercise like this it's both internal, it's, it's, it's individual, um, but, but we look for ways to express it and to kind of like build it up as well. If we were in that traditional um, classroom setting, this could be an opportunity to build dialogue based on your, your comments, your questions, your feedback, and, and really develop a group dialogue. In the, in the case of, of this course, because it's a, a lower level course, an introductory communication class, um, it, it funnels through the instructor, at least at this point in time. However, uh, for those of you that are part of the major, that are communication, media, and ethics uh, majors, there are upper level courses where we really begin to kind of uh, roll reverse this practice and give students an opportunity to uh, have their voices heard, all right? And that's exciting. That's a, it's a great way to um, to kind of create community in a space where sometimes, or in a classical mode of thinking, um, there there might be less community or the or perceived absence of community. And and certainly a goal of ours in, in the, the communication media and ethics program is to break down those um, barriers, is to uh, wipe away those perceptions. And we hope to do that. Um, my goal, and wow, will this be a challenge for me, is uh, to, to work on brevity. Um, the stats, uh, statistics, uh, or uh, let me use a more uh, a clearer term, data analytics suggests um, the longer entries uh, have, have uh, diminished returns. And so I'm looking to break up some of these responses and, and maybe what that means is I'll have to work through, I'll have to be more selective and to respond to fewer uh, questions than I would normally would like to. But if that, if that stimulates more engagement from us or maybe creates more of a competitive attitude about the thoughtfulness that goes into our questions, uh, if, if that's a determining factor, then perhaps it's a service to us. So I'm going to pause it right there and uh, we can consider an asynchronous uh, uh, segment break and um, we will get into some of your questions. 
from the week one readings in Comp 2 and 1-3. Sit tight.